Welcome to HTML5 Dev channel. In this video, I'll show how to insert categories and taxonomies into WordPress programmatically. I'll also show how to insert children categories and taxonomies. Let's get started. All right, in this video, we are going to insert taxonomy programmatically, by which I mean we're going to use this one, WP insert term, which accepts the term name, the taxonomy name, and a set of arguments where we can have description and the parent and the slug. These are, these are the three I'm going to be using, using this function. And my setup here is, here is a uh, taxonomy called states where uh, the parents are all state names and the children taxonomies are cities in inside that those states right so uh, so instead of manually adding them i'm going to be adding them programmatically using code in case you're wondering uh, a practical necessity for this let me show you something here i'm just going to give you a quick overview for example an application like that where a customer can choose categories or if they don't find their category they can go here and insert their own set of categories with the parent child relationship and submit and go to work and create these right so i'm not going to go into details here if you are curious just drop me a note here i'm going to go ahead and uh, make other videos uh, explaining how i did this but uh, this one we're going to keep it simple and simply add uh, a, a parent which is a state name and a child taxonomy which is a city name uh, using this function and the results are going to be showing up here so let's get started all right so we are at the code level so let's first bring in the parent term id because this time we're going to go ahead and insert a state and state, as we notice here, states are parent all the time. When we are uh, inserting parents, the default term ID will always be zero, but uh, the system will generate uh, the ID by itself, right? So we don't really need to worry about this too much. So let's go to the next step. Here's our function. We're also adding a variable to the function's return. So usually when it, it, this is successful, it returns the details of the uh, new inserted taxonomy in here. And uh, that's why we are going to display that on our screen just to see what happens. And also when it cannot do it, it's also the same function generates an error message so we get to see both of them right so here we just just like the function uh, initially offered us uh, this is the term id and this is the taxonomy name as it states here this is the taxonomy name and term id would be uh, something like that uh, for this parent florida and then i'm intentionally putting all, all in caps because these are all the states are all in caps so that it does it that way also uh, i'm doing the same with the slug here but uh, the system will convert it into slug so we don't have to worry about it and another reason i'm doing it because sometimes when you're going to use this same function inside a bigger program this could come as variables right so for slug you don't have to uh, regenerate anything just same variable you can use here and here and uh, it will work just fine that's what we're about to see so and parent id is zero because we're not really making any child here uh, we are making a parent right so that this being said let's go back uh, of course you have to save it okay and now let's refresh boom look at that so just by seeing this result which is this output right here we know that it already created our parent taxonomy and the id is 476 let's go check the backend let's refresh 
boom, look at that. See, California got created and uh, 476 is the ID. Okay, this time we're going to create a child of California, which is a city in California. So this time our structure is a little bit different because we need to now go and make sure if California exists. And please keep in mind, this is just the back end of uh, the code I'm showing because this could be part of a larger uh, function you're creating where you're dynamically sending these guys, right? So that's why all these checks needs to be in place. So right now uh, we, we're gonna check whether California exists and what is the parent ID so that we can prepare for the child. So let's save that and see what's going on. Okay, so it did find it. So we have the necessary information to create a child. So let's go back. Let's remove this for now. All right, so now we're bringing in the child information. The same way we're getting the result in this variable and showing it right here. Uh, this is our term a name Los Angeles this is the taxonomy name states and we are also matching um, sorry this should be CA this is the description because this shows up right here see this little stuff uh, CA as a state and uh, a city in Florida so we're kind of matching that and slug will be converted and this time it is very important that this parent ID matches this one and uh, it belongs to California right so let's go ahead and try this let's refresh boom see this is also another success message see last time what I forgot to show you is that now if I run the same thing because because now we know it already got created right but we're gonna have a different message if I rerun so what this is doing is uh, this is actually the same variable now generating a, an error object with all the necessary details even a error, error message the term with name provided already exists blah 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 with the parent and term exists with, uh, with an ID it's giving you all the necessary details so while you are working with this programmatically, you can just use this and get all these messages out, put them in a variable and display them, right? So now let's go verify the backend. So if I just refresh, boom, Los Angeles is here, the description for 77 is the ID and the slug. All right, so we just saw how to insert uh, taxonomy, parent and children. So this time we're going to take the same thing and turn this into a category insert, right? So let's see. Okay, so this is um, the category uh, list I have. So we are going to do a initial uh, term ID zero and we're going to just keep changing this stuff. For example, here we are going to have a app dev so that's the term name so that it comes at the top and then uh, slug this time we're not going to use slug this is not necessary and uh, we're going to keep the parent and the description we're going to change we're going to say this is a a parent category all right so and this one is very important the taxonomy all we have to do change it to category all right new category got inserted and even we can change this variable name Instead of term, we're going to say cat. Since this is category, so this is going to be exact same function, exact same everything, but we're just going to change the variables. It's now a parent category, and we're starting off with a parent ID 0. And now let's go run that. 
Boom, there you go. So this means we have a category just got created with, with 480. And if I run the same thing, the same will give me error message. Boom. So now it's finding that category. So it's going to give us error message, which we can use you know, in our programming. Now let's uh, refresh here. All right, so this is the parent category we just created. And now we're going to go ahead and create a child of this one. OK, we are back to the code. And now only thing we're going to do here is change this line into this. We're going to have the term exist. This is the function. If you mention uh, the taxonomy and uh, give the, the term name, like a app dev as we saw before this is the one we're trying to create a children of a child of so so once we do that we get the parent term and here we're going to change this is a child category and we're going to just name it child child a app dev keeping the category parent ID what we just got we just verified from here this is for I 80 and the rest are the same let's save and let's go try boom there you go for 81 something got created also if we try to rerun it it's gonna find it and give us error and also mention the ID and we just refresh here and we find a child category just got created using the same function so that's all for now thanks for watching